I recently upgraded from a GoPro Hero 5 Black to a Hero 11 Black. While I'm generally happy with the camera, there's a few issues that I consider downgrades. The one I'm detailing in this video is GoPro's HyperSmooth image stabilization. HyperSmooth does an amazing job of eliminating camera shake and movement. If you're filming handheld, I think it's an excellent feature. Though for in-car footage, I think it's a downgrade versus the basic stabilization offered in my older GoPro Hero 5 Black, which doesn't seem to be available in the Hero 11. Let's look at an example of this problem. Here in this slalom footage, you can see Hyper Smooth at its best. The viewpoint pans back and forth to stabilize the view of the course rather than centering on the car. In this particular example, I'll admit Hyper Smooth is assisting with the footage. You can still see the car rock side to side, but can easily keep focus of the cones ahead. This is more or less how it felt while driving the course. However, the problem is really exposed in hard cornering. While making a hard right turn, the camera pans to the left of the frame to stabilize the footage. However, we actually want to see cones appearing from the right. That's where my eye line is while driving. This is an example of HyperSmooth making the video worse. Unfortunately, as the stabilization is done in camera at record time, there's no post-process step to resolve this. This is footage of a lapping day at Grand Bend Motorplex, also recorded on the GoPro Hero 11 Black, but with HyperSmooth turned off. You can see how shaky the footage is. It's not pleasant to watch. This is the same footage stabilized with gyro flow. It still had to crop the image, but this can be mitigated in the future by using a wider field of view when recording with the GoPro. Here's a side-by-side -side with unstabilized on the left and gyro flow stabilized on the right. It's quite a significant improvement. I was also able to fine-tune the settings for my preferences, eliminating the excessive panning that GoPro's HyperSmooth introduces. Here's a render showing how the footage is adjusted during the stabilization process. The cropping in the previous example was to avoid the black voids from entering the viewable footage. As mentioned, using a wider field of view on the GoPro will mitigate the zooming required. The settings I used in this example were pitch stabilization, that's up and down, set to 1, the maximum. This course doesn't have any elevation changes, so I wanted the footage to be as stable vertically as possible. Yaw stabilization, that's left and right, was set to 0.2. This helps stabilize the shake by performing slight left and right panning. However, it doesn't zoom off center by very much to accomplish this. Roll stabilization was set to zero. I also enabled lock horizon with gravity vectors. This is most noticeable when the car leans into turns. As the camera is attached to the car, it leaned out of the corner as well. Now the footage appears to stay level, while the footage and car visually lean. Horizon lock can also be enabled on the GoPro itself, but it requires HyperSmooth to be enabled. I also believe my camera mount wasn't 100% secure in this example, so the camera would stay tilted slightly after hard corners. Lock Horizon eliminated this problem. Processing video with GyroFlow was accelerated by the onboard Radeon Vega 6 GPU in my laptop, but it's still only rendered at 11 to 15 frames per second. Keep in mind, I'm using 60 frame per second video, so each second of video footage took roughly 5 seconds to render stabilized. This was using the OpenCL renderer on the open source Radeon drivers in Fedora 40 on a laptop. For future renders, I'll go ahead and use the significantly faster Radeon RX 6800 XT in my desktop. 
There are links in the video description to the project website as well as their documentation for compatible cameras. Thanks for watching.